I reached to my house. I put there. I told the whole story to my wife. Then while Taliban got this information, they entered in my house from second story. First, they started to break my personal private museum in my house. And they started to tear my library books. I, I went to them. I, and I begged them that if you want to kill me, please, I am ready. Don't, don't kill the, uh, break this. And don't tear these books. This is not my property. This is my, this is my Pashtun nation heritage in Versa and property, not mine. The Swat Valley is one of the most naturally endowed and historically enriched sites of Pakistan. Its valuable aspects attract many visitors. The valley is home to a rich multicultural heritage comprising archaeological sites that date back to the prehistoric Alexander, Ganhara, Hindu and Muslim period. Fauzia Qureshi, the president of ICOMOS Pakistan, is one of the experts who works devoutedly for the safeguarding of the rich cultural heritage of the Swat Valley. Swat is a region that has an ancient history. It dates back to prehistoric times and the first civilization that you find there belongs to the Indus Valley civilization, which is about 2,500 years old. We find remnants of that civilization on Mount Ilam. And Mount Ilam, it appears, is the place from where Rama, the Hindu god, flew into the Swat region. And also Lord Buddha, who spread the word of Buddhism, uh, also came to Mount Ilam in Swat and spread the word of Buddhism there and created. For almost 1600 years, um, Buddhism flourished there and today Swat is much better known for the Gandhara heritage. Having had such a vast and such a complex uh, history of over 2,500 years of civilization, we find that today the society there is really a very, very multi-layered, multicultural society. Today it's a Muslim, Muslim state, but the Muslims there have embodied and you know taken on the ancient history the ancient culture the music the dance because that has been passed on through millennium to whatever swat is today today the archaeological sites that belong to different historical periods located in the swat valley are being taken care of by the muslim community Being able to pass on the knowledge and the sense of responsibility to the younger generation is an issue of great importance for the community. Menas Kalik, a school principal, takes her students to these sites. One of them is the early historic period town Barikot, an archaeological site that once belonged to the ancient Bazira city. Today, 
The site is a place of learning for young students as they are considered to be the ones who will take on the responsibility to protect the rich cultural heritage of the Swat Valley. हमें अपने बच्चों को जो है असर कदीमा के अहमियत के बारे में बताना चाहिए उनको अवेयर करना चाहिए हमारे पास जो असर कदीमा मौजूद है उनकी प्रोटेक्शन कैसे की जाती है उनकी विज़िट करानी चाहिए ताकि वो उन उनमें ये एहसास पैदा हो जाए कि असर कदीमा जो है ये हमारी ही सिविलाइजेशन है हमारा ही कल्चर है और हम हमें इनको प्रमोट करना चाहिए उनको एजुकेट करना चाहिए कि इनका कैसे ख्याल रखेंगे जब वो यहाँ की विज़िट करेंगे तभी उनको एहसास होगा कि ये चीज़ें कितने अहमियत के हामिल हैं और हमें इसकी जो है ख़ास ख्याल रखनी चाहिए क्योंकि हमारे अबाव जिद्दात की जो सकाफत है हमें इन्हीं से पता चल जाता है द आर्कियोलॉजिकल साइट्स आर पार्ट ऑफ द डेली लाइफ फॉर द कम्यूनिटी एंड फॉर द चिल्ड्रन देर फेमिलियर साइट्स दैट दे इनकाउंटर फॉर लार्ज पार्ट ऑफ देयर डे लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल द गगदारा रॉक कारविंग्स दैट आर कंपोज्ड ऑफ मोर देन 100 कारविंग्स दैट डिपिक्ट वाइल्ड एंड डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स एंड एंथ्रोपोमोर्फिक रिप्रेजेंटेशंस These are thought to be almost 3000 years old. Amanu mubakkar da 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 di go gare us idun ke mza patam class ke sabak wa da de mung da school da kal ya wa sada da de mung da school na de kha sel ora atle su da de der khalak da ler ler zigun na sel la razi ya da da mung ya da kal chari sada drawing painting de da au da taqriban da चौदह पंद्रह सौ सन दक्षी दमुन का दा खबर कई थी दा डेर पुखानी थी दा चली दिल दिल सेलो रत ले देर डेर खलक रेल चले सदा The most significant historic findings of the multi-layered cultural heritage sites of the Swat Valley are composed of remnants from Buddhist and Muslim periods. Sultan Mahmud Ghaznavi Mosque, situated in the vicinity of the Rajagira Castle, was constructed in 148 and is considered to be one of the oldest in northern Pakistan. Although it was abandoned and became an archaeological site and then rediscovered in 1985, The local community still intently carries out their rituals in the ancient mosque. Da mukhpala alaqa da aw chunki da jumat da pukhane jumat e Mahmud Ghaznavi se paag daur ki chunki da din mukh ki yo bacha ter she jagan da gaw gira bacha yo padiban khushali manao da Allah pak kor hamesha par tunde satu aw hamesha par inshallah da qaim chun puri damanga zindagi Even though the ancient Buddhist temples no longer have large communities that perform rituals, still the sites are much valued and protected. Aziz Terry is one of such examples. The signs of civilization found at the site go back to 3rd and 4th centuries BC and up to the 9th and 10th centuries AD. وادی اندا اندازہ لگی کہ پا کے وقت دی گریک دی زمانے دا یونان دی دی وقت دی دا ابادی کول بسال دا غی دوم ہندر مندو ا دوم زین خلقو د مونگل پا کے مونگ دی حفاظت کو ا دی لٹو ورسٹا شی ادا زمون یو کلچر دی چا خخ خخ کرکی دی کے دا غلی home of the rich culture art and knowledge the peaceful swat valley faced a rapid change and became a center of conflict as the security issues emerged in the region at the turn of the 21st century along with schools universities and museums 
many of the cultural heritage sites had been attacked and were at risk. It was in the 21st century, in, uh, in 2008, that, um, that our generation and the our immediate past generation saw a lot of trouble in Swat. Uh, attacked girls' education, attacked cultural activities such as dance, music, um, festivities, the, something that be, really was part of the day-to-day -day lives of people which brought people happiness and cheer was suddenly banned. Thousands and thousands of CDs and music videos and uh, were burnt in piles. Uh, girls' schools, almost 400 schools were were um, broken down, were uh, and uh, girls were forbidden from going out. Women uh, uh, going to school. Women were not allowed to go come out. So there was a, a massive sort of an anti-women, anti-girl-child uh, uh, behavior, uh, and an anti-cultural attitude also. In spite of these difficulties caused by the conflict the community kept on showing the best efforts for the protection and functional continuity of these sites whilst facing serious challenges that put their lives at risk. However, there were a group of people who, um, who wanted to take on the challenge and saw that the damage that these militants were causing in, the, in this state of, of Swat. This activity was going on by, by a group of local citizens who were opposed to these uh, anti-state elements and the militants. There was in 2007, there is a large uh, rock art called the Jahanabad Buddha. It's probably the second most revered Buddhist site after the Bamiyan uh, uh, rock art uh, Buddha carvings. That carving was blasted. The face of the Buddha was filled with dynamite and it was blown up. That's when, when the, peop the people who revered their culture realized that the, these uh, militants mean business and they're out to kill not us, but our cult culture. find some fascinating stories of how this group of local citizens and communities uh, went all out to protect um, uh, the, the, the heritage sites. On the right occasion, on the right night, I saw that there are trello playing coaches, what, what we say, a coaches, runners. They had their generators, they had their chisels, their hammers, other things. And at that time, I was sitting in my room, in my bed. I used to write the history of the day, what happened in my village today. Suddenly, my bed jumped. I told to my wife that I think Lord Buddha has been blocked. Some people became angry with me. Don't go. You are going to kill and you, you are going to touch your death. Say no. After some days there will be no pieces. And running bullets. I, I, I reached to, to Lord Buddha. There were scattered some pieces, stone pieces. I started to collect 13 pieces are collected. After its restriction, uh, a government of uh, Pakistan with a uh, government of Khyber Pukhtunkhwa Archaeology along with the Italian Archaeological Mission took this brave initiative to restore uh, Jahanabad Buddha and thankfully to the support of Pakistan Army uh, we managed to uh, conserve it uh, within a span of four years of uh, six seasons uh, with support of Italian restorers. 
we finally managed to restore it in 2016 and was open for the general public. They were creating a narrative among the people of hatred with this uh, heritage. So uh, we, some of our uh, journalist friends uh, and also cultural activists, we started writing on that. We started writing on the importance of this cultural heritage and parallel, we started a campaign uh, to raise awareness among uh, the, the new university students the youth and also uh, in the community. People, particularly the students and the youth, they visited each and every site and they, take, they started taking photos. They uh, started spreading it to the whole world. Among others, the Saeedu Sharif Stupa, one of the most revered Buddhist holy sites in the Swat Valley, was at risk during the time of conflict. سید شریف ستوپا په خپل ټول لرغونی تاریخ کې تر اوسه پورې ډیر زیات د اهمیت وړ پاتې شوی ده د چې څومره خپل هنری تاریخ ته هنری نزاکتونه دي دغه شان ته دیته وخت په وخت باندې د مختلفو تعذیبونو کې ډیر زیات زیان هم رسیدلې ده یا د وخت چې کم جبر ده د هغه خکار شوی پاتې شوی ده په دې ټول تاریخي دوره کې بیا په خصوصیت سره چې کم زمون د اثر سره تعلق ساتي Naga the Talibanization ya the trahagarai kam daur chit ir shwede da dwazar wamna tar dwazar la sampuri po khushu sito ga da daga maidani jang jor shwede da tole sima upadi sima je sanga insani juan da zaya sar makshwede daga da tole naloya stun zawa loya hadi zawa naga na pasta chibi adal to sumra ziyad ziyan rasidele naga zamunga tazib zamung tarikh zamung larghin larghuni asaru ta zamung kultur ta rasidele padi mat ke پا جنازو که با مونه بلاست شویدی، پا دی که پا اجرو که پا جنجونو که چه کم دا پختنی تازیب لرغونی آثار و سره سره لگه دا موجوده چه زمان گا سماجی و تازیبی قدرو ندی باقی که بیا ما پا وقت بانی زمان سر ملگرو سره چه مونگا دا دلتا دا متعلقه حکامو سره چه پا آقا وقت که دیر خلق خود تلی و جات اداره نوی و پا آقا وقت که شکیل دی اس پی سی بو بیا دلتا که ودي اجي سب چې کوم نو هغه سره مغرب ته وکړي خو هغه پولیس هم ډیر فعال نه ارمی سره رابطه وکړي چې په هغه وخت کې ما ته نوم یادیږي کرنل دلاور یو بس هغه سره مغرب رابطه وکړو نو هغه رالو هغه خپل یو ټیم یو فارمل دلته کې اپریشن شو هغه اپریشن دوران کې ما سره محمد علی اجي سب چې کوم د خپل کور فاونډیشن ډایرکټر دی هغه موجود او په یو ډیر بد حالت کې چې دلته بجلی نه وا دلته کې ګرټ سټریشن او هغه ولوزول شو او دلته کې ګی سودا ټول سهولتونه نو مونږ چې کم د ګاډی نه او یا خپل د سولر نه به کم لایټونه چارج کول نو په هغې باندې هغه اپریشن وکړه شو دا هغه طریقه باندې دا سره ده د ټول ایریا د ټول تاریخ هم دا هغه تباهۍ نه بچ شو بیا د هغې د فاینډینګز ډسکاورډ ان د ارکیولوژیکلی ان ریچ سایټس اف د سوات والی ور ایګزیبیټډ ان د موست امپورټن میوزیم ان د ریجن د سوات میوزیم the Swat Museum houses a great collection of artifacts belonging to the Ganhara period that were discovered in Swat. As the conflicts were increasing in the area, a bomb attack occurred nearby and damaged the museum. After receiving the information that the Swat Museum was going to be the next target, it was decided that the museum had to be evacuated. The challenge was to manage to evacuate the artifacts in a life-threatening situation. Faiz Ur Rahman and Aman Ula Khan are the two curators of the museum who took part in the evacuation. The blast was occurred on uh, 16 February 2008 and uh, 17 February 2008 the committee has been reached here and they found all the antiquities were lay down and uh, the glasses and the doors, windows of the museum as well as the rest of us as they go down. All the camp campus uh, of the Swat Museum was destroyed and the antiquities lay laying uh, on the floor and uh, terracotta and uh, f uh, the other object, uh, this uh, stucco object has been some broken. 
but uh, we are lucky because the stone object uh, were not broken only it was fallen down it was in 2008 when the bomb blast occurred outside the museum so after that the insurgent people uh, given information that they will blast swat museum directly after that our director general of archaeology and museums at islamabad constitute a team in which i was a member so we rushed here and the local staff was uh, not allowed here to be here and we brought some stuff from peshawar and then here two nights and night times we packed the antiquities on display of that museum and then in the dark early early in the morning we shifted that antiquities from head to taxala because taxala was say first and nearest, nearest place it was also treat for us because we are uh, caring of the sculpture so the people we are the they were against of this uh, thing because you are looking this uh, uh, the, uh, the huge uh, buddha uh, jahanabad buddha this was damaged by the militant at that time another site we have pan and uh, which there were some uh, object have collected from that side which is also the buddha site was blast there um which is which is some uh, hole we have find but by the grace of allah the stupa the what you stupa have been safe from this blast it was a very uh, difficult time and uh, i uh, quickly rushed to the dpo district police office swat and i met him and i requested him for escort but he refused first that we cannot give you escort for the objects because our life on a threat so after that i requested him and lastly he uh, agreed and said me that uh, early early in the morning when you are leaving we will give you escort that will be outside but before uh, meeting them don't discuss with the police and other people so in the whole night we personally packed the antiquities here in the museum stored here two nights and after that we personally uh loaded these in the trucks and after that early early in the morning uh, i uh, when i uh, went outside the police were uh, uh, already available there i then said to him that we are leaving and after that on the way we, it was very difficult for us because there was threat from all sides uh, decided and we considered it will be better to pick all the object at the night time and only in the morning before the start of the day we started our vehicle and we move from the this uh, museum to the texala museum so we were a risk and we were very um, our heart was that, uh, beating at that time because up to malakand this area was not safe up to malakand this area was not safe because there there was many people uh, the militant people was there and uh, any accident can be occurred so we we have take a risk and, uh, and we move from here uh, as we cross the malakand so our heart beating uh, come down and we uh, move slowly and gradually and reach to texala museum around about uh, i think it was the uh, noon time until 2011 the evacuated artifacts were kept in the texala museum In 2011 it was decided that the artifacts will be moved to the Peshawar Museum. The artifacts were protected there until they finally returned home in 2014. The Swat Museum was reconstructed under a project funded by Pakistan Italian Debt Swap Agreement and finally after 7 years the artifacts safely returned home. So this was the story of this uh, uh, antiquities from here to the texala museum from the texala museum again to peshawar museum and from peshawar museum again to the swat museum so it was a triangle type if you look because the texala museum on that side peshawar museum on that side and the swat museum there so at the antiquities have make a triangle so <laughs> this this is a very fantastic and very uh, strategic uh, But why did they put their own lives at risk in order to protect this artifact? 
a word to say in um, uh, Pashto, this, this is uh, the, our proverb in Pashto, Janvi no Jahanvi. So it means if you love, so you will be see the world, you will be have the world. If, if your body is living, if your body is present, so the world will be with you. So this is the meaning of uh, this uh, proverb, which is, which is Pashto, Janvi no Jahanvi. So, we have make ourselves uh, on that uh, position, but uh, I, I was considered at that time, so this is important, this is our cultural activity, our cultural thing, uh, heritage. So if uh, I go, it's no matter, but uh, we save this thing, so this is important, because this is the generation, this is the, uh, from, from generation to generation to generation. The curators of the museum, are two individuals of a wider community from all over the world that share the common ideal of keeping the world's heritage safe and passing it on to the future. And especially on the site where I am, this is the most, uh, we can say the most critical area of the sites, but today we are in peace and we in, in Pakistan and KP especially. After more than 20 years since the beginning of the conflict and damage to the cultural heritage sites, now the Asian Swat Valley in once again harmonious in its own melody. And the brave people of the valley still continue to be a source of inspiration for all in the way of safeguarding the shared heritage of the humankind. Oh, <laughs> 